next set of awards are the Spree the Corps Award. Uh, this award is presented to the cadet who has demonstrated the highest spirit within the cadet unit, who inspires others, has a strong devotion to their team and high regard for the Corps and to the Navy League cadet program. Our first winner of the night is Cadet Ak Akshas Swamin. Congratulations, Akshas, for a wonderful job. We also have Alina Rizwan. We know Alina loves cats, and uh, she uh, is very proud to say that. So congratulations, Alina. Our next award goes to Alumba Gawam. Alumba is uh, uh, always looking for ice cream at any opportunity. Hopefully he's here and not in the ice cream truck. I'm in the ice cream truck. <laughs> there you go, there he is. <laughs> Arnav, of course. He is our captain. There you go, Arnav. Congratulations. And uh, Ibrahim Al Ashak, congratulations. And uh, uh, on winning uh, the Esprit de Corps Award. And uh, Jake Milenko Gamash. Uh, Jake, Jake has been uh, very instrumental in participating in every activity we have, from building uh, rockets to history, uh, Jake is, uh, is always there. So congratulations, Jake. Pranil Pakala, congratulations. Excellent work uh, on, on everything that you do. We appreciate uh, everything that you do. Quentin Brissett, our internal IT expert. Quentin has done wonderful presentation for our first year anniversary and for uh, Navy, League, um, Navy League month. So congratulations, Quentin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel Hannon. Rachel has done phenomenal work building the Advenius Adventurer uh, with her mother um, and the uh, Roman rocket, which we will see a little later. Uh, fantastic work. Um, also done some fantastic presentations as well. Thank you. Drew, Truman Schaefer as well, uh, uh, a rocket builder. Um, it's done phenomenal work, and we're happy to have you, uh, Truman. Congratulations. And now I have another video for you. Good job, everybody. Good job, everyone. Bravo, Zulu cadets. And so we are in the Llewellyn Canal, and we're seeing the um, uh, the ship uh, passing by is the Rossi A. Degagne from Canada and is leaving from uh, Port Weller, Ontario, and is going to Sarnia and has to go across all the Great Lakes to get to the other side. It is a chemical uh, transporter, and you can see right behind here uh, where they transport all the uh, petrochemicals onto Sarnia for processing. So we're going to introduce our next group of award winners today. from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario, it's easy. All you need is a barrel and it's a quick trip over Niagara Falls. But how do you take a massive ocean freighter in the opposite direction? It takes ingenuity and tenacity, two things I lack. But luckily, we have the St. Lawrence Seaway, one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. Today, it's every boy's adventure. I'm a stowaway on a freighter bound for the Welland Canal. I don't know, the phone rang, a horn blew, they said I want a free cruise. Doesn't really look like the brochure. And here I am on the promenade deck of the ship, the Whitefish Bay, and this is Captain Wilson Walters. Hello, Captain, how are you? Welcome aboard, Rick. Thank you for having me aboard. And where are we right now? We're on the Monkey's Island, the highest point of the, the ship. Monkey's Island. The Monkey's Island. I'm going to do a reality show called Monkey's Island. I'm putting the entire Senate on an island in the Arctic, and they eat one another. So basically, we're going to drive this giant tanker into a, a box, and you fill it with water, and then the tanker will rise up 45 feet. And then you open the doors, and you go into the next one. Open. And you go up, and, and you go up, up, and you go up until you climb the mountain. When you climb the mountain, you're in Lake Erie. How wide is this lock? This lock is 80 feet wide. 
How wide is the ship? 78. No. Oh, yeah. No! Okay, from where we were on the monkey deck to where we're going, how many feet would that be? About 120 feet from the really? monkey. We're all the way We're down. going way underwater. We're going underwater. Right. Right, that works. Now, is the ship designed specifically to carry iron ore pellets? No, it's designed to carry anything in bulk. Banana anything. chips, spices. And anything that comes in bulk, you go into the cargo. You go on these belts. Oh, these are big conveyor belts. This is big conveyor. It starts oh, I see. All the way up here. What's this button do? I don't touch these buttons. Really? I don't touch these buttons. Do the younger crew members skateboard down here? I think they would enjoy do it. Do they have scooters? Uh, all right, so now we've come to the bow. I'll just put my scooter up. Look, look, look. We can have fun with that. Welcome back to Irving. Yes, here we are. So we started up there. We started all the way from the Monkey's Island where the flags are. Are these iron ore pellets here? Yeah, they're iron ore pellets. It was either that or you had a goat. Now, we're going to get in there. How long will it take for them to fill it with water and take us up 45 feet? About 15 minutes. It's got to touch. There's no way that's not going to touch. It is the exact size of the canal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some paint on that wall. It's like all the different colored boats that have come through, blue and green. Okay, before I knew what I was talking about, and I was saying, will I be able to touch the wall? I mean... It can't get much closer than this. No, look at this. Yeah, that's not... That's, like, closer than the Tim Hortons drive-thru. That's a lot of water. That reminds me of my sister's great waterbed incident of 1992. She lives upstairs. <laughs> so now we just wait for the sucker to fill up. Basically, we're waiting for the gates closed. Off we go. We go right. And here we are on the gates of Lockwood, and this is Kevin French. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Hello, Rick. Do you have to pee all day? Because as soon as I got here, immediately, you know, Pavlov's dog. Sure, I'll open the gates, but first I gotta, I gotta take a leave. Do you spot certain boats and you're like, oh, that guy cannot drive a boat? I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Well, you could be, you could make generalizations. Pilots get uh, very upset about their, uh, their trade. I guess so. Any jet skis? No, they tend to get stopped before they enter. Have they tried to go in? Yes. Of course they have. <laughs> Dudes on jet skis. Would you not? Once the pressure is the same on either side, the gates just yeah. naturally... They, they break, and there's that sensor on the side. Uh -huh. And then once it clears it, you can hear that yes. now. Once it clears that naturally, the gates will open by hydraulics. It's making strange noises. It's, if you it's weren't crazy. here, I would be running right now. <laughs> oh, my God! It's a lot of pressure coming undone right there. So hold on till. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look, 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 look. That is cool. Okay, now we have to raise the bridge. You get to control the traffic lights? I, it's I it's like button. having a power. If I click this button, that light's going to go red? Correct. That is, that's an awesome power. Wouldn't you like that in the car? Oh, That'd driving down the street would be fantastic. There you go. So, oh, and we'll get it running. Look at that, red light. He's running a red light. And there's a, and it, is that a runner? Oh, he's stopping. He's stopping. He's panicking. He doesn't know what he's doing. The power of the click of the mouse. It's awesome. Okay, you're holding up traffic. Literally, literally holding up traffic. This is ordinary seaman Mercer. Is this the captain? That's the captain speaking. Okay, bring her on through. Show us some love, whitefish. Give us a honk. Oh, I know that noise from cracking my hair. Goodbye, whitefish bay. We'll always have Welland. Enjoy Toledo. Better you than me. Good night.